Pittsburgh right now, it's kind of, it's not a lot going on, sadly. It sucks. Um, there's some bands out there. Uh, you know, like, we've got a buddy's band, uh, Eternal Sleep. There's, like, some new bands that are pretty good, but there's really no consistent venue, and it kind of sucks because if there's no consistent venue, no one really knows where to show up, and there's no place to really even bring bands. They have bigger venues, you know, bands like Terror, H2O, like, big stuff will come through. But when it comes to like shows like we just played today, there's not really a consistent place, so it's just kind of like really it's killing the scene, I guess, sort of. Well, I mean, when I started going up there to see shows, it was always like um, going up and getting to see uh, like No Retreat was always a band that I remember seeing opening shows for like Hatred and stuff. And I was like, you know, them and uh, Built Upon Frustration was another another band. Like those two bands are like the some of the Pittsburgh bands I always remember seeing a lot. And occasionally, I'd even be going up to Erie and seeing like, you know, Brothers Keeper and just like, Um, growing up in Lewistown, uh, I mean, there really wasn't much of a scene. There was just kind of a crew of us that would travel to shows and were really into what, really into what was going on where we were going other places. So and on a weekly basis, we'd just hop in the car, drive pretty much anywhere, anywhere there was a show going on. Sometimes State College would have some decent stuff like, uh, times a year we have a decent show over there so that was always like a like a really big event for us um, but today I guess there's some some young kids coming out with bands from Lewistown which is good to see I mean uh, it's it's like one of those small kind of like central PA scenes where the the kids there that come out to the shows are real hungry for new bands and new things that are going on so that's exciting for me and I I always like catching up with the guys from back home so I mean I even though it's a small small area to be from. I've gotten to meet a lot of pe people from across the state. So it's pretty it's pretty cool. I'm from pretty much the same area as Steve. Um, I grew up in Harrisburg and lived in Dillsburg, Pennsylvania for a little while, which is right by Carlisle. Um, went to like Carlisle Arts House shows. Um, I remember our township building was some of the first places I saw shows. We used to, yeah, Kill Your Idols played a lot. Big Wig used to play, yeah, like Anti-Flag. Um, <laughs> like some punk, like, you know, that's like a starting point for me and um yeah like i started to travel a little bit more especially i started a band well i joined a band that these two cats were in um like when i was like 16 years old and they're a little older than me i guess you guys were like 20 then whatever but um started like traveling with them to shows like up to wilkes and philly and stuff seeing like death threat and um american nightmare and no warning and the promise and some of those bands that were around that era that's pretty much it. There's not a, <clears throat> I live in Lancaster now. There's really nothing parkour wise going on down there. There's a there's a big club called the Chameleon and um, they kind of run run shit with like metalcore shows and stuff and the, the guys that own it are fucking dicks and uh, they shut down like any other kind of venue that tries to open up. Um, like if there's even if there's like shows at like, you know, whatever, there was they were doing some stuff at this WGAL building for a while. I don't think we're doing any more of that face. Any kind of like competition, shut it down. We used to have like PA hardcore showcase shows there and stuff. We'd play and Strength Strength of Reason would come down and you know Barricade would play. Like bands from all over Pennsylvania would come to the Capitol, like right in the middle of the state. We had these awesome shows. You did usually one. There's like one in the summer, yeah. and sometimes there's always one in the winter too. Usually, yeah. and they'd always be like super cool. But it's just kind of like too bad that we don't have like a central location that's big enough to do something like that anymore. Like, PA to me has always kind of been too though, like like places like Altoona and, and Lewistown where, and uh, I mean we've been to some pretty pretty weird towns out in the middle of nowhere where there's kids that are super stoked though, and that's, I mean that's why we still do it. You know we have we have other shit going on like kids at home and stuff like that, but you know it's it's still awesome to come to Altoona on a Saturday and kids are there stoked on the band and it's just honestly pretty it's it's pretty humbling in a way you know we we're joes during the week and we come out here and you know it's you're somebody for a day it's kind of cool you know it's really good to see that exists somewhere even if it's not where you are you know oh man uh, it's, 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 <laughs> born in a storage shed in lewis town yeah in 2005 we sort of had like a, I guess like a, maybe our first year and a half, two years, we went through a few singers. Um, we actually recorded with one that didn't really work out with us. So the kind of the four of us were always the ones that were involved with the band and kind of had the passion to do it. So we're like, 
you know, why don't we just do it with the four of us and just try and, you know, change up our focus now. It seemed to work for us. And we definitely, like, for us to come out and play shows anymore is, like, I mean, it's truly rewarding because it's, you know, it's almost like a family reunion every time, you know. And I mean, I appreciate that for sure, you know, out of it's, if, if nothing else that I get out of this, it's it's spending time with the people that I want to spend time with. So that's why I still do it. It was real funny how like we even started playing together because I I like stumbled into all of these guys randomly. There was a for a while I was filling in for Problem Solver Revolver out of Erie, and we played uh, played a show in Harrisburg one time, and I met that guy Colby Black because he was friends with EMS, and Colby was doing a band that at the time where you were in wait, you were. In, were you in Those Who Remain? I don't even remember. He was in Those Who Remain for a little yeah, while. Like, yeah, like, it was, you know, Colby was like, hey, you're going to play for my band one time. And, and uh, I was like, all right, whatever. And I was living out in Philly uh, going to school then, and I didn't really think that I'd actually ever start playing with this other band, Those Who Remain. And uh, then, like, I got a call from Colby. He was just like, yeah, you just come out here and start jamming with us. So I joined, joined that band, did some shows, and that's how I stumbled into all of these guys. Or actually, it was just uh, Steve, yeah. Steve and Alex. And then uh, I wasn't, I mean, I wasn't really feeling the band too much. It was just kind of a cool thing to do for a bit because I hadn't been playing in a band really uh, for a while. And then, uh, like, uh, I think Steve was just like, yeah, like my buddy Neil, like, we're going to try to do this new band, something like that. And then, that's, you know, Steel Nation just kind of started from as, like, a side project thing for fun.